this afternoon, the driver accused of hitting two young brothers in Queens, killing one of them, is expected to face a judge. Police say Jose Barcia struck the boys while they were crossing the street in East Elmhurst yesterday afternoon. Now we're learning he has a history of reckless driving. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo is live in East Elmhurst with more. Anthony. Shantae, that's right. Police say Jose Barcia has at least four prior vehicular arrests related to driving recklessly without a license. And now that pattern of behavior has resulted in the loss of life. 52 year old Jose Barcia, who kept his head down, is now charged with criminally negligent homicide, failure to yield to a pedestrian, and other charges after police say he plowed into two children, two brothers, crossing the street yesterday afternoon. One of those boys, police identifying today as eight-year-old Byron Palomino Arroyo, who was killed. Heartbroken relatives providing this photo of him. His 10-year-old brother was sent to the hospital with wrist injuries. The unimaginable scene unfolding yesterday just after 4 p.m. Police say the driver behind the wheel of a 2005 Nissan Titan was stopped at a red light at 100th Street and 31st Avenue. Now, when that light turned green, police say Jose Barcia drove around another vehicle to make a left turn. One of the charges driving at an unsafe speed. Barcia police say hit the two boys as they were walking in the crosswalk with the pedestrian light, out walking with their mother, where a small memorial is now set up. Eight year old Byron suffered catastrophic head injuries. His cousin wishes he could talk to him again and also wishes he could tell that driver a thing or two. I love you. Like, even if, like, if I didn't show it, I do love him very much. Why would he drive too fast? I heard that he made a turn qu too quick. So was, why? Why is he doing? Why is he going max speed? It doesn't make sense. And now Jose Barcia, the driver, did remain here at the scene, and police sources say it appears he was in this incident driving with a valid license. But again, he'll go up against a judge later this afternoon facing criminal charges. As for the memorial here set up behind me, we've been watching a constant stream of people coming by to pay their respects to this eight-year-old boy. A memorial uh, service vigil, we're told, will be held later on tonight. We're live in East.